Okay, these are my thoughts on light. Why does everyone want to act like light is the answer? You turn on the light in a room and the roaches scatter. We tend to think the bad guys operate in the shadows. We think of good entities as being light and evil ones being dark. We think of being saved by the light. We think of light as our minds being illuminated. Or we may even think of being kept in the dark concerning a subject matter. It states clearly in the Christian Bible that Lucifer is the ruler of this world. He is also known as the light bearer. I find this very interesting as all the near-death experience testimonials that I have heard people speak of going towards the light. Or from the light came forth a supposed loved one from their experience on earth. This loved one then convinces the disembodied spirit to come back to this hell realm, as their mission on earth is not yet complete. Everyone is in such a hurry to go towards the light, almost like it is programmed into us that the light is the answer. The light is good. I think the answer lies within. I have, in my healing journey, come to find solace in the dark. Instead of running from it, I have finally chosen to embrace it. I have taken the plunge head first into the abyss. Here I have found more answers than I ever found in the light. Well, maybe not more answers as the light always seemed to have an abundance of answers. Let me put it this way. Here in the dark, when I come across an answer, it seems to be very clear and concise as if there is a knowing, a deep knowing that doesn't require the senses that use the light, but rather a deeper trust in something more firm or stable. The light seemed to be a constant distraction. The overstimulation of my senses was too much. It caused confusion. Here in the dark, I am able to calmly and effortlessly trust in my intuition. Here I am not conflicted as to what I am experiencing or as to what the next step is. There is no worry or anticipation. Doubt and confusion were left in the light. I can still see the befuddled look that was constantly found on my face when the answers seemed so apparent. Almost as if I had more senses pointing to whatever answer was being illuminated than not. Yet deep inside I knew there was trickery afoot. Like the answers were so plainly obvious because they were being fed to me on a silver platter. Like a deep undercurrent that was purposefully guiding me in a certain direction. I am starting to see that direction was not to my benefit. Rather an intended manipulation to pull me further from truth. Here in the abyss there seems to be a laser focus. The kind that comes when there is only one stream of input. Sensory overload was left on the cliff where I jumped headlong with complete trust. I feel enveloped in the blackness. It's as if time doesn't exist. Time was a fabrication that was only made possible by the light. I remember how time caused most anxiety as I was always feeling some task had to be completed within a predetermined allotment of time. The body should rise at this time and lie down at this designated hour. There was even a certain span of time which was ideal to be prone with eyes closed. How strange it is that to close your eyes and worry if they would open before the allotted amount of time passed. Then the programming said my health was at risk should I not get enough shut eye too many nights in a row. What a strange concept is time. Time now seems to me to be nothing but a construct that brought with it massive anxiety. I can compare it to a bridge that is crumbling behind me, and if I run I can get so far ahead of the destruction and perhaps take a break, but not for long as I was always having to stay one step ahead. Time management. I mean, who thinks living their life according to a construct such as time is an intelligent way to go about things? Again, like it was pre-programmed as a governor almost to ensure we didn't move too fast through the muck of confusion. 
like it made us literally police or regulate ourselves because there was only so much time in a day. There is a piece here where time doesn't exist, a piece that most upon hearing wouldn't understand. It appears that this coincides with walking in spirit, in complete trust. There are no doubts, only the faint remembrance of what doubt used to feel like with all the things it brought with it. It's as if doubt is unable to exist here, as if doubt was only something that existed in the light. Again, maybe because instead of operating from the one true source of knowing, there was an abundance of sources of sensing. Perhaps I had not spent enough time in the dark to become familiar with and become comfortable in knowing that I knew. Perhaps once I have spent enough time here in the abyss and accepted and fully embody that knowing, I can rise up and enter the light once more this time being properly prepared to handle these other sources of information. Maybe they are superpowers given by the light, and I had just not yet developed the ability or maturity to handle and utilize them properly. Perhaps I needed that reconnection or remembrance of the one true source, and once that is reestablished and reaffirmed, I will be able to put on the rest of the more advanced, if you will, sensory inputs. Okay, maybe not more advanced, but maybe they are helpful tools of guidance in such an environment where the light makes one aware of so much of the surroundings that would otherwise be a non-existent or at least easily ignored. And because there is so much more awareness in the light of things otherwise disregarded in the dark, perhaps these other sensory tools are helpful in navigating the nuances that the light brings. As I formulate this into words, it seems right. Like I have always known these statements to be true, but just had a distrust of things that couldn't be ver verified by multiple sources of input. Being here in the abyss is bringing clarity, a full knowing and trust in myself. It was always there, so it's not like I am learning to trust myself, rather just remembering. Not just remembering that I know, but remembering how to know that I know. A connection with feelings that have been disregarded and dismissed for so long that they seem to be a mere fairy tale. It seems they had been misplaced for so long that I was searching for the knowledge of them. How strange that the light being the reason for the loss, but at the same time thinking the light was necessary to learn how to utilize the innate ability. I was in essence, I was in essence, fighting against myself. Little did I know that I simply had spent too much time and had become far too reliant on this light, when all that was needed was a balancing, a return to source, a return to, instead of searching outside with what the light brought to my attention, focusing that misguided attention inwards to the vast expanse of unlimited knowing, this knowing being all that is needed and everything else ultimately being superfluous. In conclusion, I was overwhelmed and had done everything I could, to, I could to try and figure out how to fix this problem. My, anxi my anxiety was through the roof and had become an unbearable monster. Little did I know that I just needed to step back. I needed the simplicity of the darkness to be able to tune out all the distracting, unnecessary noise. The dark was and still is at this time of writing my solace. I am peaceful here. Without the excessive noise the light was bringing, I am able to reset and focus. Instead of pushing in vain effort, I now take that next step knowing completely that there is no other direction to take. Here in the dark, I am finding my way back to that straight and narrow path. My advice would be to stay cautious of those who say the light is the answer. Be cautious of those who say that light is good and dark is evil. There are agendas that have minions whose job it is to keep us polarized. We are complete. With that completeness comes both the light and dark, it seems. Embracing one and disregarding the other is madness. 
It appears the light can be a beneficial thing, but my journey has shown me that until the darkness is embraced and integrated, perhaps we are not prepared for the light. By putting the cart before the horse, we are fighting an uphill battle, an unnecessary and profoundly ignorant way to go about things. Perhaps I was blinded by the light 